everybody, welcome to Giftology. I'm John Rulin. When people talk about loyalty gifting for business, they tend to focus on what to gift, but the most important decision that you can ever make, the decision that's tripled our business and gotten our clients as much as 100x return, is the decision of who to gift. Stick around and we're gonna talk about it. Do you wanna get serious about strategic gifting, create massive loyalty, quadruple referrals, and conquer worlds? Well, then the most important thing to understand is that not all of your VIPs are created equal. I'm talking specifically about potential to impact your bottom line, whether that be through referrals, retention, or opening new doors. Before we talk about who to gift, let's agree on just a couple things. The first is you need a list. If you're not willing to sit down and perform a little bit of an audit, on your potential recipients, then you're not as ready as you think you might be. The second thing is your list should not include every single customer or every employee, which when we're talking $200, $300 gifts, nine out of 10 businesses certainly are on a budget. And the most important decision you can make is oftentimes not who to gift, but who not to include on that list. Gifting is not affirmative action. Strategic gifting is about playing favorites. And it shouldn't be as cut and dry as, I'm gonna send a gift to every single client that spent X amount of dollars on my product or service last year. As a business leader, you can't be infinitely loyal to everybody. So don't expect infinite loyalty from everybody. You gotta fight for the ones that matter the most. We're gonna be including our VIPs inner circle with our gifting, particularly the spouse. So one question you can ask to determine if they would make the loyalty list, would I feel comfortable sending an unexpected gift that included somebody's spouse? If the answer is no, you might have some work to do before they make the list. If the answer is they don't have a spouse, that doesn't mean they're a bad pick, but it does mean that you have a little bit less margin for error. We've seen it time and time again. When you can give practical luxuries that both a husband and a wife can use, it's low risk and super high reward. That's because your competitors are either gifting clients poorly or they're not gifting spouses at all. This is the strategy that's gonna make you stick out which leads to our final agreement that we need to make. And that is gift for potential, not just current results. If you're budget constrained and can't afford to spend a couple hundred dollars on everyone, then you need to look at a couple things. Number one, do they have high potential, but they're undervalued? Look at people that have big networks and inroads to your target market. This might very well include gatekeepers of the people that you really wanna get at. In fact, we oftentimes treat gatekeepers as well or even better than we treat the Gordon Geckos. Number three, People who've served you in the past, anybody that's been instrumental for you to get to this point that's gone silent or people that you've been out of touch with, this is a great way to unlock loyalty. And yes, some people have even used strategic gifting to mend bridges. So with those agreements in mind, let's make a list. I'm gonna give you some thought joggers. Many of these people you have already thought of, but if I can bring awareness to even one person that you haven't thought of, then watching this video was worth it. The first group of people, your internal network and your inner circle. This is where employees, staff members, and contractors would fall. These are your most important brand advocates. If you're just getting started with gifting and budget isn't there to do everyone, ask yourself, who are the three people that make my business run? Of course, you already love and appreciate these people, but the easiest way to unlock loyalty is to pile it on so intensely that they love you forever and ever. The second group of people, your current customers, contacts, and stakeholders. Not every customer is created equal. So again, like I said before, audit your customers and ask who represents the most potential. Don't forget about your brand partners, your supply chain, your distribution chain, or the gatekeepers for those hard to get a hold of clients. A good rule of thumb is spoil anybody who currently gives you access. Your best customers and clients are extremely busy and they surround themselves with hoops to jump through. That's by design. And when you love on the gatekeepers, they'll let you cut the line and go right to the VIP. The third group that requires budget mentors and circles of influence. These are high profile relationships, sometimes in your industry, sometimes not in your industry, but they're people with a voice, people that you respect, people you want to develop a better relationship with, and people that have the ear of your target market. Who are the people that have given great referrals in the past? This isn't the stock market. Past behavior does indeed predict future results. So get them on the list. And finally, and I say finally, because most people start with this group but we found it's the best place to end. Prospects and future business contacts. People you don't know or you barely know. Gifting has to be done very intelligently with this group or it's gonna look like a bribe. 
A lot of these high profile people get quote unquote hit on by people nonstop, which is why we recommend focus 80% on your warm market and no more than 20% on prospecting. When you build your gifting list around your warm market, they'll get you introduced to your dream list. Not overnight, but this is what we've seen work over time. Trust me on this last point. My company is incentivized for our clients to send as many gifts as possible. And while we do have people that send to several hundred people two to three times a year, and while we love fulfilling the quarter to half million dollar contract, that's not the majority of our clientele. Our clients are people that have to be extremely discretionary with their budget. It all starts with the list. So make that list, check it twice, watch this video again if you have to, and brainstorm for the best possible results.